Who's doing the time really quick before you start? Right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? Okay. So I've always enjoyed being educated on things that I knew would help me. And that's that's because, you know, there's freedom. And I can make my own decisions or, you know, learn from my mistakes so I don't make it twice or try not to make it twice because I've known to make the same mistake twice. So a growing concern is um, our government and it's beginning to get into our personal life and our personal problems. And um, you guys may or may not notice it now and um, most of it's coming up through props and they're not making people more aware of it. And so let's look at a few things that um, could be alarming for um, U.S. citizens and how the government thinks that they're going to cure or fix problems. So um, they think that by voting on certain props that's going to fix these problems. Um, and do you think that the government controlling certain things would be a good thing or a bad thing? Um, so I'm going to explain why government should not be controlling certain things like food as in what we intake, um, weapons, um, like recently the gun control, and internet um, censorship, which is known as um, SOPA, which um, I'll explain that later. So um, one big problem would be food control. And I know that um, America's struggling with um, obesity, and um, I, I know that the government's trying to help with that, but I don't think that that's any other concern because you know we're allowed to make our own decisions. Um, so on consultpivotal.com, um, I got information that said that the government will control what we eat in the near future if props will be, um, with the props that will be forthcoming if we vote for them. And which would be junk food, as in bad food, that would be taken out of public places. So like in the cafeteria, you wouldn't be able to enjoy your little snacks or even soda. Like they're going to start taking those out. And I, knowing me, if that was to happen, I'd be a food hoarder. Because I know I'm not the healthiest person, but I love my food. And I, I, want, I want to be able to decide what I'm going to eat and what I'm not going to eat. So um, just not being able to buy food that you want, it's just taking away personal rights, and I, I don't think that's fair. And for um, the government, they're going to control and sponsor certain um, foods, and the, um, the people that they sponsor, individual individuals that sell that, that means that that's mainly going to be the food that we're going to get, and what if it's all like broccoli or something, <laughs> like, I can't do that. But um, so. America's becoming less of a democracy, and it's heading more towards a socialist and radical. I'm not too fond about that. So um, I know that I'm not going to be the healthiest person, but I do want to make my decisions on what I'm going to be intaking. So uh, another problem that the government's trying to take control of is um, with weapons, with gun control. and. Um, with the recent outpours of weapons and mass homicides that you guys have been seeing on the news lately, um, the idea of banning guns may seem like a good idea to some of you because they'll be taking away, you know, stuff from those people that that are going crazy or psycho. But um, it can be a bad thing because think about what's been banned in the past: drugs. Um, we still have people smuggling drugs across borders, and there's all, the bad people are always gonna get what they want. So why take it away from everybody? Um, the only people I wouldn't be able to get it, you know, would they take it away from people that are trying to protect themselves? So I don't think that's a good idea. Um, so from JustFacts.com, um, they stated that all like rights with weapons and um, guns, something like that would be taken away. So I believe that's going towards socialists and um, it's just taking away your belongings, and um, you can't. You're like you can't say what you want to. Almost like that's how make, that's how it makes you feel. So um, no matter um, no matter what, I feel that people, bad people are gonna get a hold of what they want, and that's gonna be getting smuggled the drugs across the Mexican border. But um, no, if that were to happen, I'd have to pull with Tony Stark. I I I don't I have no idea. I just think that's not a good idea at all. 
So um, another problem that the government's getting into is internet um, censorship. For me, I don't think that would affect me so much, but I can see how it'll affect other people. Um, for so SOPA, like I explained, SOPA, it's for Stop Online um, Piracy Act. Now that's how it originally started, and but now they're going a little bit further. Not, they're not just talking about that. They're talking about um, other websites and stuff like that. So it's going to upset a lot of people, and I feel like um, it's just going to drive people crazy, and they're something like something's going to cause people to want to riot. But um, I just think that's not fair. Like, why are you gonna take away our rights on the internet? That's that's what a parent's job is to do to to block you from certain websites. Uh, um, so more info on the um, props for SOPA was to censor the um, unwittingly on the internet. Um, so like protection, and um, I just think that's invasion of freedom, and um, it. It messes with the First Amendment. Um, so for solutions, for the first one, um, I believe that um, the U.S. Um, needs to be more aware of the propositions that are coming up. The people need to be educated on this so they're not just voting or watching those um, commercials that make you want to vote for certain ones because a lot of them are going to be misleading. And um, it may not seem like a big difference now, but when those um, propositions are going to be passed, then you'll start to notice it, and then um, it'll just start to take effect. And <clears throat> we should be more aware of what we're um, of what we're reading and know um, what politicians are saying, because, like I said, a lot of them are going to lie to um, win. And um, I just think that it's just violating the First Amendment. And for internet awareness, um, the props are, will, um, would be increasing <clears throat> to vote against it. And um, I think that it's messing with the First Amendment, like we said, and that people should be able to feel like we have freedom and that it shouldn't be taken away. So. Um, imagine yourselves um, in, with your kids in the future and being forced to buy government sponsored food only. And um, weapons being banned, so there's no protection. And internet censorship, like I said, that will drive certain people crazy. Not me, because I don't want to fight, but other people. And I think that we're a free country, so we need to stop putting um, up with that and. Um, push that we're a free country and make our own decisions. So like I said, um, those problems, solutions would be stay with the First Amendment, um, keep our freedom. Thank you. <laughs> Junior, what did you think? Yeah, good timing. That doesn't that doesn't work. Hang on a second. All right, well, uh, the opening statement's pretty solid. You've got a clear statement of your point of view. It would be best if you didn't have to read it. Um, the transition to government involvement is a little awkward, and I'm not quite sure where you were uh, going on this particular point. It sounds like you were referring to propositions on the ballot, um, which may or may not be the case. SOPA is not a proposition on the ballot. The gun control, as you're describing it, is not a proposition on the ballot. 
the food things, since we have very vague references to them, there may be propositions on the ballot that deal with those, but you aren't specific about any of them. In California, for instance, if there are some propositions on the ballot that deal with those issues, you ought to use those as the examples to talk about. And I know that um, there's, there was discussion last year about uh, a food labeling law. Uh, there's discussion this coming year about increasing taxes on uh, certain kinds of foods that are seen as being bad. I think that you want to be particular and specific when you talk about these ideas because it's so ambiguous as to what you're talking about. So is Michelle Obama screwing my rights because she's telling me I shouldn't eat junk food or encouraging me to garden or to prepare food at home? Is, is that a violation? Is that something that you see as being problematic? You mentioned this idea that they're going to take foods out of cafeterias. I guess that's the high school cafeterias or the uh, elementary school cafeterias. since. Since the government's paying for the food, I assume that they can decide what they want to have. But how is that a limitation on people's freedom? Uh, I'm not quite sure that that's uh, the same sort of thing. If, if I can still get all the soda and, uh, well, I can't get ho-hos and fruit pies and Twinkies anymore. No. <laughs> They're supposed to be coming back this summer. We'll see how that goes. Uh, um, you know, that's... that's um, you know, they're still available for sale someplace else. If, if, there's a, if there's a rule that says that the government's going to prohibit the sale of those things, you need to tell us what it is. As it is, it's just a very generic argument about a, a threat that you don't demonstrate is real. So I think that that's problematic. The same thing with um, the gun control argument. It, why the gun control argument is being connected with the um, food issue and with the... Um, argument about internet censorship is you seem to be making this this argument that there is sort of a paternalistic um, motivation somewhere in the government uh, to try and take care of us and that they're overreaching with that and these are the examples you're going to use. I, you know what? I think that would be a clearer way of stating your idea and then you can <coughs> but then you need to develop those examples a lot more and they're just not really very well developed. The, the gun control one, for instance, is incredibly abstract. <laughs> By the way, I think every time you cited a source, what followed didn't sound at all like it was a quote. It sounded like it was half of a paraphrase summarizing something that was in the source, and it, it, it doesn't really gain a lot of credibility uh, because it's not direct and because there's not somebody who is uh, just stating, stating a definitive point of view. On uh, the SOPA topic, for instance, uh, you, you mentioned that uh, the government's you know, going to be controlling uh, content. You said, well, I don't care, you know, but some people are going to riot. Uh, well, I think you want, might want to point out, for instance, that SOPA was turned down by the government. Uh, you should keep referring to the government, by the way. The government is us. You know, uh, I, I think, I think uh, when, when people criticize the government, you have a legitimate reason to do that. Uh, but part of the problem is, uh, what's the, you guys never saw this comic, I know, you know, I've seen the enemy and it's us, you know, Pogo is the name of the comic, there was this uh, very famous, you know, kind of art, comic strip that illustrated this process, I mean, we're the ones who give the government uh, the power, we're the ones who give the government uh, direction as to what to do, and we're the ones who give them permission to do those kinds of things. SOPA is a good example of some place where somebody drew a line in the sand and said, we don't think this is appropriate. There was a huge outcry against it, and it ended up not being voted in. So if you're suggesting that it's going to be put in under some subterfuge or that uh, we're not going to have any power control over that, you need to talk about that. I just think you've got this broad subject with vague examples that's not helping you much. Now, it's organized. That part's good. You do have a couple of source citations, but like I said, the problem is that the information coming out of those sources is really ambiguous. I thought that you did an okay job talking to the audience. I think you would be better off if you were not so script dependent at the beginning of the speech. Um, you know, and at the end, you throw in a few things that I think uh, are, are a little bit closer. This negative visualization, I like that idea. The notion that the government is... Um, you know, over energetic. I think you're on the right track there, but then making all the arguments about the politicians being lying. Well, that's a popular claim, but without any particulars and without talking about something that uh, applies to the subject that you're discussing, it just it just seems like it's a hollow 
attack that doesn't have much to do with the uh, points that you're developing here. All right. Thank you.